Hi, it's Tori, and today I'm going to be watching Only Murders in the Building, season one, episode three, How Well Do You Know Your Neighbours? Which is a very interesting question in the context of there is a murderer living among the apartment building, and how well do they know each other as well? I've loved this, this season so far. I'm excited to watch this episode. Thank you so much, Kevin, for sponsoring. Let's go. Or oh, is this when he began to fail and fail and fail? You're four mil over budget. No, 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 no. We yeah. We need a set that's high above the stage. A pool built directly into the floor. This is the beginning of the end for him getting too grand. Kicking up water. This is our big one. You've got a dive ball in there. And it was a flop. I'm glad her aunt doesn't seem to be on any kind of, if she truly is here to renovate the apartment, rush. Could they harm you? Or even kill? <laughs> Tim Kono was murdered by... During the soundtrack at the same time! Which Mabel's free. I'll call her. Or should I text? <laughs> text. What sounds more casual? Dear Mabel or greetings Mabel? <laughs> Best kind of text. Gotta get Bonnie her money. It must be, I mean, I know it's very sad to have to sell things, but you must have some possessions you can sell. <laughs> hmm. He's murder bored. And these are, why are they all selfies? So I don't draw suspicion. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So <laughs> Sting. Musical icon Sting killed Tim Cohn. Oh my god, that's hilarious, Sting. But I love as well that he could have just gone online and found pictures of all these people, even the old ones. What if tie-dye guy is the fiance? Guys, 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 we need one lead. One lead. And it's not necessarily his fiance yet if he's still at the ring. Stop! And she hasn't told them about the jewelry she found, so like the ring might not be the clue, although. Oh lord. I know how to do this. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Tim threatened to kill his cat, and he knew that Tim had a gun. Plus, there's paw prints in Tim's blood. Correct. So the cat wanders the whole apartment, and no wonder if you have a cat allergy, and the cat just gets to wander around in your house, essentially. The plan is to meet with a murderer, bring up a dangerous topic till he snaps, and we record him for the podcast. He's desperate. No, no, no. I, I promise me we're not rushing this. I'll see you later. Wait, he has money problems, and he's embarrassed. Oh, just producer stuff. Oh, I'm an actor. I can turn on the charm. Is it on now? It's swarming up. <laughs> Hello. I'm actually first chair bassoon in the city symphony. Hmm? Oh, you suspect? Oh, it's lovely. I think of it as the sound of the arconia. Oh, that's really <laughs> sweet. <laughs> oh, flirting. She's the murderer. And get some, Mr. Savage. <laughs> I will. You're really asking me for money? Well, I wouldn't uh, put it like that. Uh, hmm. I, I'm just uh, when it doesn't cost me thirty-two k. Uh, you can't just go to one person and try and get that much money. You have to potentially say if you want advertise for a small amount and then build up. Hey, Howard. It seems like everyone in the building loved you. You're being recorded. I'm sorry. I just and people didn't really like Tim Kono. No, people did not. Hmm. I hear. I shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Tim was a prick. Yes, he certainly fucking was. <laughs> we saw him on the elevator. It got worse recently. I heard that he got fired from his investment firm for losing a big client a lot of money. Really? Oh, that's another potential Did suspect. Did ever get upset with Evelyn? What kind of person leaves their window open and then gets mad at a cat for wandering in? Evelyn wasn't a vindictive girl, but I There was no if I had my window open and a cat came into my house, your cat should be in your own house. I'm sorry. Like if it's a hot day, everyone has the right to have their window open. Catman. It's like you're being recorded. What was that? I said she's <laughs> watching you. So it's like you're being recorded. I, I wouldn't put it that way. Why would you say it like that? <laughs> He faints at the sight of blood. Evelyn's in the freezer. Oh, 
<laughs> Fucking fuck, he did not put that in his pocket. Probably keeps you from doing a lot of things, like being present for bloody murders. <laughs> you know, I think Tim poisoned Evelyn and then killed himself. <laughs> I'm getting a toxicology report done. Even if he did poison Evelyn. It's just that she's next to your food. <laughs> you could sell that piano for one thing. You must have a lot of memorabilia and stuff. Yes, it's not great for your pride, but it's something. Is it cancer? I just need to know how invested I should get in you. You don't adopt a 20-year-old dog. I'm not dying. It's anxiety. <laughs> it happens sometimes when I talk to people, but I haven't managed. I just don't talk to people, or go on dates, or know my neighbors. Uh oh. Jesus. Selling that. You can't sell this. Wasn't this your biggest show? No, no. It, it was my biggest flop. Oh. There were bigger flops. No, <laughs> no, no. I put my own money in the show. But it wasn't actually. Fuck. Mine. It was my son's college. He not only lost my career. He's opening up, own, though. But knocked a frozen cat out of his freezer. I still have its leg. Oh, Jesus. It's also kind of thrilling. And it's all because of you. Jesus I mean, Christ. You're insane, but that's usually who people want to follow. Put some money into that sound equipment. It's our show. I don't know. You don't have to do that. No, I want to. You owe me 4500 I prefer cash. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Suarez. I don't know if you remember me, but... I do. You need something fixed? Oh, remember us no, from then. the apartment then. is fine. You bought in because I was confident and charming and young. You were around 58. <laughs> <laughs> Not the... You know, with me, it's always going to be more. What was it, 32K? Now it's 35. Always more. <laughs> How much money must you have to be able to actually consider that? not that date yet. Fuck. She's doing her own investigation and using them to help her out a bit. Well, hello there, Sting. <laughs> Winnie, don't stand so close to Sting. <laughs> By chance, no, Tim Kono? Are you suggesting I had something to do with that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I never did. He would just like to interview you for some clout. Please, your dog. You liked it, right? Is that what my face is saying? Oh, hey, we are now the proud parents of a new podcast. What does that mean? We <laughs> just published our first episode. Shouldn't they have been told it was being dropped? An hour ago, he needed us to drop the first episode right away, so. You rushed it. Big surprise. Yeah. This is an Oliver Putnam production. Charles Hayden Savage is a. It's it's good. It's a, a, a good, nice comment. It's good? Oh, yeah, I bet it's good. <laughs> did, did you use my concertina music? So basically, you released our podcast. Mm -hmm. we have no real theories, let alone a prime suspect. When we have 12 listeners, maybe we can worry. Okay, you know <laughs> I worry not. And I'm fucking worried. I'm so fucking worried. <laughs> and now it's public, public as well. The murderer no. can find out someone's looking into it. Fuck, I, exactly, the murderer could know. Is his dog poisoned or something? Yes. What's wrong, bro? Oh my god. Who would do this to you? Sting. Your most well known neighbor. Sting! <laughs> Might be the one you know the least. <laughs> I love that so much! I think it's hilarious that Sting is now our suspect. I mean, he did go on about how much he hated dogs, and now the dog's been poisoned. Um, but, yeah. It's, the minute you do a podcast, the minute you make it or do something that publicizes that you were investigating something that has been 
considered a suicide by the police or whatever, it's the minute the actual murderer might get nervous. Um, they have put targets on their backs. He definitely should have talked to them about it. I think it was good to kind of see that flashback to just how persuasive he can be, how when he was at his heights, um, he was able to come up with this outlandish idea and convince people. And, you know, had it worked, it could have been spectacular. Just new musicals are always such a risky business because they can flop or they can be amazing. Um, now, putting in your kids' college fund, like, yes, there's something to be said for being confident in yourself. That's a little too confident because that is a future you have promised your child and then you're just going to risk it all. Um, I don't blame his son for wanting to being cautious around him and putting an end to giving him money. And so, in a way, it shows you how much his son loves him, that he gave him any money after that fiasco. Um, and I guess that's when his marriage ended as well. Um, coming back to Teddy, he got a lot of money out of that man for this podcast. You know, podcasts are very, very in right now. I've still never got into them personally, just because I watch, like, I, I watch a lot of television. I do a lot of reacting. I watch, like, YouTube reactors, I watch people streaming on Twitch, I don't have time in my life, and I read, I don't know if I'm my life podcasts as well, but I know if I did I would get very into them. Um, they are a very lucrative business right now, so it does make sense, and it is an interesting and unique angle, this idea of only murders in the building. The trouble is, they needed to take the time to actually have a suspect in the story, or even if it's them going down the wrong path, have them doing something rather than what they've got now. I think... The whole thing with Mabel's past and the fact that somebody else killed her friend um, and that Oscar's getting out of prison now and she was confronting him and trying to say like, oh, um, and he was, he knew that it wasn't his friend because he'd seen someone else do it, but he lied. I definitely feel like it's got to be tied into that because otherwise that's a lot of drama. Now, either it's tied into that or his murder was about something totally unrelated but there's going to be linked into whatever Mabel did in that flash forward will be the thing that's linked I don't know obviously it's very interesting and she's keeping that from them because obviously she's keeping herself she's keeping herself to herself she's not telling them this deep dark secret that might have nothing to do with it even though they're literally making a podcast and she found evidence that he had jewelry was he still going into the different rooms or was he um just did he have that stuff when they were kids but there's a lot more information there and it fills in who Tim Kono was in a very interesting way so I am intrigued about at what point they're going to find out what Mabel knows in her history though it is nice to sort of see them get closer I was really glad that um Charles found out about oh no I know his name I was so proud of myself Oliver I was like I'm going to remember the men's names this episode I'm so glad that Charles found out about Oliver and his money troubles because it really was driving everything and yes it still led to him just uploading the podcast without even a text to be like uploading the podcast now um i think new podcasts like with new anything something that doesn't have a big marketing campaign it is going to be something that slowly but surely if people get interested in it can be a slow burner one day you have 12 views the next day listens the next day you have a thousand then a million you know it can go quickly or it can just peter into nothing i've no idea obviously where it's going to go with this now sting being their suspect could definitely acquire some interest um oh that's very funny i am just so invested in this and like the guy having his cat it's ridiculous like they've done such a good job of making this show ludicrous but it's like it's not meant to be not ludicrous and I love it. I'm really, really enjoying it. Thank you so much, Kevin, for sponsoring and thank you for watching.